Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering what I believe are the best graphical settings you can use in Fallout 76 for maximum performance and visuals. So, Fallout 76, much like Fallout 4 before it, is not an optimised game. And even with decent hardware, there are certain areas in this game where performance will just tank and even struggle to hit 60 FPS. And it's both revealing in areas that contain a lot of shadows, for example, Foundation, Ortega, and uh, the Crater. In fact, the situation kind of mirrors what happens in Fallout 4 when you're in downtown Boston, which is not surprising really because both the games do use the same engine. That being said, it is possible to reduce the frame drops and maintain a more consistent frame rate simply by tweaking the graphic options that are presented to you. But for this purpose, we're going to be using the Fallout 76 Quick Configuration tool, as this will present us with a user-friendly interface that allows us to make the changes we need before we launch the game. And to install this tool, it's dead easy. You want to go to the main page here, go to the option where it says Files, and then download the latest version. Once that's downloaded, extract the archive, and inside the extracted folder, double click on the option here where it says the Fallout 76 ini.exe file. Okay, so with the tool running, what we need to do is click on the option down here, or the option across here rather, that says Tweaks, and then click on the tab at the top that has Video. What I'm going to do now is just go through all the options that you need to change. So if we start at the top where it says display, uh, display mode, you want to make sure that you're choosing full screen for this, as I found that the game does tend to run worse if you choose either windowed or borderless windowed mode. Now for resolution, you know, it's completely up to you really, it's going to depend on what hardware you've got. In my case, I've set it to 4K because I'm making use of upscaling, but again, put it to something suitable to your display. And in the graphics setting, you want to choose the overall quality as medium. So you've got low, medium, high, and ultra. So set that one as medium. For anti-aliasing, I recommend enabling that. And for anisotropic filter, again, enable that as well. Now, you can untick this option here, which will allow you to unlock the frame rate. But if you're going to do this, remember to cap the frame rate to something that's sensible, such as 90 or 120 FPS. Uh, under textures, you want to set this one to ultra. And in the water section here, you want to set the shadow filter to high. Now for lighting, I recommend that you do enable volumetric lighting or god rays as they've known in game. And again, just set this one to high. Now shadows, this is the section where most of your performance drops are going to be coming from. Therefore, I recommend that you set your shadow quality to high, the texture Mac resolution to high again, and then blurriness to two times, which is less blurry. And at this section here for fade distance, which is the single most performance impact in setting the entire game. And it don't matter how powerful your computer is, you're always gonna find that if you set this to anything higher than low, you're gonna get frame drops. So let's set that to low, which is 60,000 in other words. Now, all the other options that you can see here are completely up to you, you know, whether you want to enable or disable them. But in our case, once you're happy with your changes, I'm gonna go to the top here, click apply. Once we've done that, close the application and then just launch the game as normal. And speaking of the game, I'm just going to quickly jump into some gameplay and we're going to cover the Ortega area, which, as I mentioned before, is one of the areas known for frame drops.
So as you saw, with these graphics settings specified, the game stays at around 80 to 90 FPS with little to no frame drops. And that's amazing. So in conclusion, Fallout 76 is a great game, especially in 2024. However, much like many Bethesda games, it does suffer from performance issues due to the game engine that's used. However, as you can see in this video, this can be mitigated. As always, thanks for watching this video today, and if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. Thanks again, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye now.